Hey guys, Prince of Mastodon here. Gonna do a commentary video for Rome Total War. This is a multiplayer battle. And remember those um, historical what if battles? Before I had a Hannibal of Carthage versus uh, Serena and Parthia, I've had different kinds of um, historical battles. In this particular battle, I'm gonna do a uh, what if Julius Caesar fought Scipio Africanus. So I'm going to take a, uh, a the army of Marius and I'm going to give it to Julius Caesar, but I'm going to take away all of the auxiliary units, so it's just going to be Julius Caesar and his legionary cohorts. To be exact, I have one early legionary first cohort unit. Um, they are bronze-silver upgraded. Then I have nine early legionary cohort units, and they are all silver-silver. So this is just uh, Julius Caesar without his uh, barbaric and other auxiliary troops. So um, in command of uh, Scipio Africanus, well, I'm not going to tell you who he is. Because I told this guy what to build, I'm not going to reveal his name. But this is Scipio Africanus, and he will command the type of Roman army that was seen during the Punic Wars. So, I gave this guy two units of Equites. They are gold-silver upgraded. I gave him three units of Triarii. They are silver-silver. That's where his general's at. One here, and he put the other on, on the wings. Both wings. Two units of Vilates. One has a bronze defense upgrade. Um, then he has three units of Principes and three units of Astadi, and they are both Silver Silver upgraded. So, um, this is set for 10,000 Denarii. I set it at 10,000 Denarii because I find this to be more balanced. Like, I don't want it to be a complete, you know, um, you know, advantage to one side, because upgrades do favor, you know, better quality troops with more money. So, I kept it at 10,000 Denarii, and that's why I took out all of the auxiliary units. So, um... My reasoning is that the army of Marius, this is the kind of army that Caesar would have commanded, they would have relied more on their infantry power to uh, to win their battles. Whereas the army of Scipio Africanus, it was more, um, I think it was more balanced. Like they had their own Roman cav, they had their own Roman, their, their own, you know, Roman light infantry, and then their own Roman heavy infantry. So it's, this is Roman Roman battle without all the auxiliary troops. So, what is going on here? This is what's going on. We're fighting on the South Water map. It's pretty sweet. A lot of broken up terrain. My opponent's going to um, bring his equites to his uh, his right wing. And I just formed my my formation into a 4-3-3 type formation here. I put my general on the very back line here. And my worry is are his equites. So, I made Julius Caesar deficient of Cav. Um, as you guys know, Julius Caesar would have used um, like Germanic and Gallic troops serving in his uh, Cav arm. But because I took away all of the auxiliary elements, it's just pure infantry. So, yeah, I do have to worry about his uh, Cav. But, um, anyways, to make this uh, fair, I am going to switch armies after this battle. Um, I already know what happens. Uh, unfortunately, the guy I'm playing right now does not come back for the uh, second battle, but I can tell you this, this is going to be a really uh, fun battle. I can tell you he wins though. But here I scared away his Vilates, and I'm going to engage his infantry with my front line. I'm going to toss my Pila and his dudes, and now he's going to rush his second line to, to meet my rush here. Nice idea, because right now I'm targeting his uh, first line, but in reality I'm crashing into his, uh, his second line, so I had to uh, redirect my attack to, you know, on the situation at hand. Here my opponent was going to launch his Equites, and I responded too late. Look at that charge, it's beautiful. That's my opponent launching his Equites into my, my first, my first line, and that's my left flank. And he routes my first flank there. My left flank there. I'm going to scoot around his infantry mass with my early legionary cards, and I'm going to bash in his tree REI from the wing. And here's his general, look at that. That guy's pissed. Oh! Um, yeah, so I went to go after his Equites, but he retreated. So my opponent's doing really well with his Equites. I tried to intercept them, but I couldn't stop him. So once again, he bashed right into my my next line of early legendary cohorts, and he routes them too. So, Scipio Africanus is off to a very good start right now. He's making a mockery of Julius Caesar and all of his accomplishments. I'm going to scoot around here. I'm gonna do some more flanking movement. So here I'm taking off more of my reserves to outflank his main infantry body. And here's Equites. They got so far stuck into his, um, into my guys that they basically went into his own dudes. 
And I routed them. I think with my javelins, I think. But he still has another unit of Equites. He tried to get a rear charge on these guys, trying to outflank his his main body, but I was able to turn around in time and scare away his Equites. But they're not routing, they're just um, retreating on their on, you know, under the command of Scipio. So, yeah. I routed one of his units finally. Well, actually, two of his units. What are they? Oh, Vilates and, uh, I think it's a Prince Fed unit. But I'm gonna chase away his Equites because that's the one element I do have to fear. Otherwise, in a straight on infantry fight, my guys will tear right through his dudes. So, the big worry was, um, his, uh, Cav. I killed his general and I routed his Cav. So, at that point, I felt confident that, um, that Julius Caesar's troops would prevail. And there was a mass, a mass rout of his infantry. It didn't help that we killed his general. So we're going to oust these guys from the battlefield. And um, before the battle ends, I just want to say uh, thank you to this guy who uh, volunteered to uh, do this what-if historical scenario. Well, I told him what troops to pick and what kind of upgrades to use. And as I said in the next battle, who's going to be a different opponent? I'm going to use the same exact upgrades, and my opponents can use the same exact upgrades that my opponent used. So, I'm going to be Scipio Africanus in the next battle. As it is, I'm Julius Caesar right now. And, so, we're going to keep chasing his guys. They keep coming back from routing, and look at this charge on my dudes. He completely incinerated my, my, my legionnaires there. That was pretty, pretty sweet, from his perspective. For mine, it kind of sucked. It really did. But I routed them with some more um, javelins from these guys. Yeah, these guys saw what happened. They know what's up, and they're pissed. So we're going to continue to chase after these uh, routing troops of Scipio. Um, historically, uh, Scipio Africanus never lost a battle. He was undefeated in battle, which is pretty impressive, considering that he fought in the uh, Second Punic Wars. And um, I would say the highlight of his career was... Well, the highlight of his military career was taking on Hannibal at Zama and taking him down to Roman town. Um, a cool thing about Scipio Africanus is that he loved um, Greek culture. He knew how to speak it and he was a, a really great admirer of, of the Greeks. Um, Julius Caesar too admired the Greeks. Um, one of his biggest heroes was um, Alexander the Great. Um, when he saw a statue of Alexander the Great he actually wept because at his age Alexander had accomplished so much, whereas Julius Caesar was still, you know, just getting off his feet. But uh, both men were great, but my personal favorite is Alexander. So here we, here we routed his Equitasi once again. So you can see that his men keep coming back from routing. And now it's going to keep uh, knocking them back. Look at this unit of early legionary course. It's down to one guy. And he is, he's tough. Look at this, he's going to charge right into these guys by himself. Uh. But he has reinforcements, and they route. So good game to uh, Scipio Africanus. Caesar wins. We'll see what happens in the next battle where I command Scipio Africanus.